Alright, this will be a quick guide on Matter Hover. Here's a quick disclaimer about how this trick changes the level order in Subcon, so pause to read that if you want. So first off, the movement to the cherries goes like this. You want to buffer up left-ish, and then do a dive. You just do two dives like that. And then from here, you will want to do a sprint jump and a dive, and then start sliding down like this, and then rub up against this tree, and get a dive boost when you land like that. If you don't like going in between the trees, just go to the left, and then try to get the dive boost. And after this, you just sprint and do a sprint jump and a dive boost towards the cherry like this, and then keep sprinting. And for the actual hover, there are a lot of factors that go into it, and you'll want to mess around with your own variations for a setup and figure out some cues for yourself. Uh, but you want to base it off of these core mechanics that I'm going to show you. You also want to make sure you're playing on 60 FPS, as that is leaderboard rules. And uh, FPS does not change the setup, but it changes the speed of the hover, so if you're playing on the wrong FPS, then you'll get slower or faster times. So first off, you want to pick up this cherry while looking in this general direction. So that means also you do not want to do a cherry SDJ, as that will generally change your angle to be way too far right, and it'll make like the setup not work. The cue I use is I just like sprint towards this corner of the bone cage, and I pick up the cherry as soon as I can. So something like this, then I go to the right. And you just go to the other cherry and line up, line yourself up with it, so you can walk into the center of it like this. And you might want to look at a spot in the bridge as a reference, like look at like this corner, or maybe this one. Generally like around here to this area is good. I personally don't even use a cue anymore, I just go by feeling. So just like line yourself up and then walk into it. And here you want to be as close to the cherry as possible. And you want to throw it in. And as soon as you throw it in, you want to do a neutral single jump. Like right after, just wait like a tiny bit and then single jump completely neutral to get on top of the cherry. You want to make sure that's neutral so you don't change like your positioning or the, the angle of hat kid just to keep that consistent. And you want to be fully neutral for the rest of the setup so you're not moving at all. And here when you're on top of the cherry, you can notice that cherries are on like an animation cycle, they bob up and down. And when the cherries are like fully down, you will want to do two umbrella swings. And then when the cherries are fully up again, you pick it up. And generally, when you're good at the timing, you'll just be picking it up right after you do the umbrella swings, and it will look like this. And there you go. So the goal of this setup is essentially to either go in between the walls, or if it goes a little too far left, you'll be going over the left wall. You cannot go over the right wall, so if you're going too far right, then you'll have to change your visual cue on the bridge to be more to the left, probably. So to drop down after the hover, you'll want to be on KBM so you can look down. So if you set up the hover on controller, after you pick up the cherry, you'll just want to switch the keyboard by hitting any button that is not bound to an in-game action, basically. So for example, for myself, I can press down right-click, as that is just my text mashing bind and it does not interrupt the hover. Then when you're on KBM, you just want to look down fully like this, and you want to basically look at the hole that you're going to fall through, and as the, like, the sharp corner of it lines up with the bottom of the screen, you can sprint off. And to sprint off, you want to just hold sprint first and then hold forward. Just like that. And you want to aim for like around the spot. Depending on your angle, you might not be able to. You'll just have to hover for a little bit longer, but you want to aim for like this side. As a, there's an invisible collision there, and it extends uh, like less far out on that side of the, the gap for some reason. And after you clear the gap, you can turn around, and then you just time a double jump right before you land, or you can time a dive cancel if you find that uncomfortable. It's like that. Generally, you're also going to land closer to the cellar, but I was like pausing and didn't get my usual setup. So that is the entire hover, and you just, you just go in, and the rest of the manner will be the same. And here's an example of a, a good hover, and how quickly you can get into the basement. 
generally when you're starting out you will want to take a few extra seconds to make sure your setup is good. But once you've gotten pretty good at it, you can do it as quickly as this. And that was pretty far right, but it should still work just barely. And in this case, I'm going to drop around here. And then aim for that spot. Like that, turn around, time a double jump, and sprint in. <laughs> 